guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. I did Walmart's grocery pickup as usual. If you would like to try it, I have a link down below that'll save you $10 off and make your life a heck of a lot easier. So I'm gonna take you over to the table and show you what I got. All right, I have two little helpers here today. So you might hear them, but it's all right. This is real life. And I spent $98, and that was after a $10 rewards, because then you guys use my link, so thank you very much for that. And I'll just start over here. I got a thing of butter that we needed, some onion powder that I needed as well, some traditional great value pasta sauce, some the treats. I got some M&Ms and some Reese's Pumpkins. That's actually for um, my last Crocktober recipe. That'll be up next Tuesday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I got quite a few snacks. Um, that's usually what we run out of the most. <laughs> I got the blue corn tortilla chips. These are amazing. As well as these white cheddar and jalapeno little cheese curl things. These are really, really good. My son and my husband love them. Definitely worth trying. And they're only like $1.28 a bag. Really good. I got some little mini pretzel twists. And I got the zesty ranch veggie straws. Down here I got the Buddy Fruit Fruit Tubes. I usually get these at BJ's and it takes us forever to go through them because it's like a huge box. But the big kids eat this, the baby can eat it, they're all natural, um, no added sugars or anything. So um, we really like these. And it's an easy way to throw fruit into a lunch box as well. Excuse me. Down here I got the Oikos Triple Zero Yogurt. I love this Triple Zero Yogurt uh, for smoothies, but I really wanted to try the salted caramel flavor. It came up in the, the Fall Favorites little tab in the Walmart Grocery app, so it got me there as, long, as well as this, the Chobani Flip Pumpkin yeah. Harvest Crisp. It says, pumpkin low-fat Greek yogurt with pie crust pieces, glazed pumpkin seeds, and pecans. So this is going to be delicious. I already know. I already mentioned the Reese's Pumpkins. Then I got a case of the Roaring Waters as usual for my kiddos. And I got some whipped cream for a video. Down here I just got a little bag of the mild cheddar, mild cheddar shredded cheese. I doubt there's going to be bloopers today. I'm on a roll. My goodness. Haven't messed up once. Alright, I got two pack of the Great Value Cream Cheese. And a little carton here of beef broth. I think I already had beef broth, beef broth, but the struggle is real, you guys. I'm so lazy that I order my groceries, and I'm even more lazy because I don't get up and check my cabinets if I have this, and I just order another one. So, yeah, that's that's my life right now. I got some beef bouillon. It's granulated and needed for a recipe. This was a substitution. I asked, well, I thought I ordered the big one of the pumpkin. But they substituted me for a peppermint mocha and it's little. I don't know. I'm just going to use it as coffee creamer because I do have coffee. So it'll be fine. Then I got the tater tots, frozen tater tots. And this is a substitution as well. I don't even know what brand that I got. Maybe it was like, um, I don't know. It was another variety pack. But it was like the healthier versions. And this is all baked. So I'll take it. It's for my kids' lunch boxes. It'll be fine. Down here I got the Purdue Chicken Cutlets. I buy these all the time. They're delicious. I love them in salads, sandwiches, you name it. I love these. They're super good and easy. I got two of the Crescent Rolls for our dinner recipe. I got a gallon of vanilla bean ice cream for that video with all these other goodies. I got a big thing of the spring mix as usual. We love this. That's our favorite salad. Um, some seasoned croutons for a dinner salad. And I also got the egg noodles for chicken noodle soup. Back here I got the frosted mini weeds and pumpkin spice. Do yourself a favor if you like mini weeds. Try this pumpkin spice before it goes out of season because it is so good. The strawberry one is really good as well. I got two packages of the plain sliced bagels. I have the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning that I like to put on there anyway, so I didn't need to buy any fancy bagels. I just got plain, and these will be for sandwiches and breakfast and all the good stuff. I also picked up these rolls. I did order the pretzel rolls, but they were out, so they subbed me the brioche buns. It's fine with me. It'll be good with ham and cheese sandwiches. Speaking of ham and cheese, I got the Prima Della Black Forest ham, a pound of that, and a pound of American cheese for my husband's lunches. 
I got a five pound bag of potatoes and some strawberries and oranges. I'm hoping the kids will like um, some cut up orange slices in their lunch boxes. Then I got the Sara Lee white made with whole grain bread. I just wanted something that was really soft because I'm going to be making um, peanut butter and jelly sushi. So I need to roll out the bread and make it super thin and soft. So I'm hoping that'll work with that. Usually we buy wheat. In here I just have a package of chicken breasts and then a package of ground beef. And the last thing over here, I have my organic 2% milk for the kids to have with cereal and that's really it. The baby still has her almond milk and I still have lots of veggies in the fridge from last week. So that is my $98 Walmart grocery haul. Just stay tuned for the meal plan. All right guys, this is my meal plan for Wednesday the 24th through Tuesday the 30th. Tonight on Wednesday we had chicken parm sandwiches and garlic fries. On Thursday we're gonna do a cheeseburger crescent ring with tater tots. This is actually um, my girl Taylor's recipe on YouTube. I'm gonna link her video down below. She shows how to make it and I thought it looks good. On a Friday, we'll probably go out or order pizza, something like that. On a Saturday, we're doing Salisbury steaks with mashed potatoes and green beans. On Sunday, we'll have leftovers of, you know, whatever we have. On Monday, we're going to do a big salad with um, the Purdue chicken patties that I always buy and some chicken noodle soup. And then on Tuesday, as always, we do a breakfast or leftovers or sandwiches or something easy before I go grocery shopping on next Wednesday. And that is our meal plan for this week. Wow, you guys, I did this without hardly messing up at all. So sorry there's no bloopers this week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and my meal plan. Let me know down below if you've ever tried Walmart grocery pickup because I'm kind of curious. It is life-changing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.